Hey there, this is Mrs. Bravo again, and this is another video slash presentation on your core concepts in pharmacology book. Today we're going to talk about chapter 5, the nursing process in pharmacology. So we're going to learn how to apply uh, pharmacotherapy, you know, the therapy of pharmacology, into the nursing process, okay? So the nursing process you already know. You know, you should know that the nursing process is the foundation for nurses' practices. The nursing process is also a systematic method to problem solving of patients' actual problems or risk of problems. Um, you should also know that the nursing process consists of five different phases. Assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Okay? Okay, so you have already done your assessment. All this data collection has already been done. Now you need to utilize your clinical judgment to identify what the patient's actual problem is or risk of, or prevent, you know, what you want to prevent off, okay? Or the risk of uh, problem. Then we are going to apply, um, we're going to apply the pharmacotherapy when we address our nursing diagnosis. So in order to give a uh, nursing diagnosis uh, related to pharmacology, to be able to apply pharmacotherapy, you need to look uh, and address these three main areas of concern, okay? Either you wanna promote a therapeutic effect on a medication on your patient, or you wanna minimize the risk for adverse reactions or toxicity on your patient, or you, ma you want to maximize the ability for self-care, uh, medication administration, the knowledge, the skills, um, anything, any resource that it's going to provide safe medication administration and also effective medication administration, okay? So here is a list of the most common nursing diagnosis used in pharmacotherapy. And in this other table, you can see how um, this nursing diagnosis uh, are also associated and they're, they're um, you know, together with uh, the use, I mean, related to medication administration or side effects, um, toxicity, or just drug effects, okay? Uh, this is a very common one, the deficient, deficient knowledge deficit uh, related to lack of information about a new drug therapy. Okay, then after you have given your patient a nursing diagnosis, then we are going to start a planning phase. Okay, so you know that in your planning phase, you're going to set up goals and interventions uh, that are measurable and they're going to be a shift during your shift and they're going to be having a specific criteria. So that later on, you can, when you measure your outcomes, this is something that was measurable, that you developed, and that it was very realistic, okay? So you pretty much develop your list of interventions. Okay, so you're, you already know you're going to develop a list of interventions, but they're going to be related to drug administration, okay? Such as you need to plan how and when the medication is going to be administered, what type of teaching does your patient's going to need, uh, for how long is this teaching uh, is going to be needed to be, um, so that you know it, that you're being, that your patient successfully understood, okay? So in order for that to happen, you need to understand what your patient learning ability is. Are you dealing, um, you're, you're going to be dealing with all different age groups. So you want to know what type of approaches to use on parents, caregivers, uh, children, uh, ad adolescents, it's a big one, uh, adults, geriatric patients, okay? So these three tables pretty much give you uh, different um, points that you should be looking into when you are creating these interventions, okay? When you're doing all this planning, like I said, it has to be a realistic plan. Okay, if you're doing a children, a child, if you're doing a child, you need to provide this child teaching that's appropriate for his age, uh, that is appropriate to age and appropriate to learning. Okay, you know, some patients are going to be visual, some patients are going to give written information, 
some patients you can give you know higher technology information depending on their learning capabilities right okay so once you have developed your teaching then you begin the implementation phase in the implementation phase that's pretty much when you um you get you you start um going and getting into action okay you're starting acting into all these goals and to all these interventions that you created and how do you apply that into pharmacology well this is when you actually administer you're executing you know you're executing all of your interventions you're carrying out everything that you planned um so basically that's that's what it is if you're doing it on a administering a drug for example or carrying out an intervention to to maximize the therapeutic response or you could also it could also be as easy as teaching like you you know you start uh, teaching your patient uh, readiness preparing for discharge um, just implementing all of this doing this demonstration simulations um, uh, and teaching for your patient and and the last phase will be your evaluation phase because this i mean this is when you are going to actually compare uh, and see the actual outcome based on your um, uh, based on your medication effectiveness and your if the patient's safe this is all for all, all information that you are going to be gathering this is uh, data that you're going to be gathering and documenting and recording making sure that it's documented because this ensures that your teaching and your interventions actually helped okay if you are for example administering uh, blood pressure medication on a patient that has a high blood pressure reading right so the planning will be you're going to administer um I don't know, like lisinopril um, on your patient and then um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's your planning. Your implementation, where well, you went ahead and administered the medication and you provided teaching. Your evaluation would be the blood pressure actually decreased. You're finding a therapeutic effect, right? Um, and then um, your patient learning and um, the patient's response. To your interventions and that's pretty much how you apply um, pharmacotherapy into the nursing process thank you very much